It's been a couple weeks since Honolulu Police Chief Louis Kealoha roped it himself after getting a target letter from the FBI. Tomorrow, the police commission will meet to discuss his fate within the department. On December 20th, the chief surrendered his police powers and agreed to go on paid leave for 30 days. The target letter and federal investigation has to do with what's alleged as a conspiracy, framing the uncle of Kealoha's wife, who's a deputy prosecutor. Bridget Namato follows up with the latest. Bridget. Marissa, when the chief placed himself on restricted duty, he agreed to go on leave for 30 days. Time is running out. So I sat down with both the police commissioner and Kealoha's attorney to discuss what could happen next. For the first time since police chief Kealoha learned he was a target in a federal investigation, all seven commissioners will meet behind closed doors to discuss his fate within the department. The police commission has the power to remove the chief from duties. What could potentially happen? Could Chief Kealoha resign? Well, that's uh, something that we'll be discussing uh, in, uh, in in our executive session. That uh, one of that's one of the options he has. You know, if he if he does desire to do that, uh, it's totally up to him. I asked Miles Briner, representing Chief Kealoha, the same question. The chief has been in law enforcement his entire professional life. Uh, he is a police officer. He uh, lives and breathes uh, law enforcement. He'd like to stay in his role. Of course. Of course. I'm told Ke Aloha will not attend Wednesday's police commission meeting. Sword says he plans on having an in-depth discussion with his fellow commissioners at the meeting. Put it this way, you probably have some, you'll have some idea on what direction we're going to go. As for the chief's target letter, when asked if he changed his mind about talking to investigators, Briner replied the chief has nothing to say and that he did nothing wrong. If he is indicted, Briner says Chief Ke'aloha will address it then. Again, the police commission meets tomorrow. Briner says he will be there. Bridget Namata, KHON2 News.